everyone and welcome back to another Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight episode and boy do I have some good artists for you. Today we're going to be spotlighting two new artists and they're going to be Dolly Cabrera and Mike Schmidt. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to tell you guys more about these incredible photographers so with that let's go on ahead and get into it. Dolly is a photographer based out of India and she's been doing commercial photography for 13 years but she's been creating art even longer than that. Uh, Dolly received her master's in arts and science of photography, specializing in architecture, industrial, and product photography. And with that degree, she's been photographing interior architecture, industrial, and products for more than a decade for her career in photography. However, Dolly does enjoy shooting architecture, travel, and fine art in her free time. So let's go on ahead and hear more from Dolly herself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Dolly Cabrera. Hi, my name is Dolly, and I'm a multidisciplinary photographer artist from India. I graduated as a computer engineer and worked in IT industry for a few years before doing my post graduation in photography. Since then, I haven't looked back. I've been photographing architect interior, industrial, and products over a decade now. I love traveling and took every opportunity to explore national parks and wildlife sanctuaries all over the world, from Australia, India, and the US. My visit to these natural places gave me a great canvases to shoot my panoramas from landscape to flora and fauna. I have a special interest in shooting heritage architecture. I like to experiment with light, hue, and texture to create visual stories through my photo art. Over the last few years, I have also translated my work to design lifestyle and home accessories products like lampshade, wallpapers, upholstery, etc. I am also honored as my work has also been published in print and has earned many international jury awards. I joined the NFT space in end of the December 2021 and came up with my Genesis collection, The Little Ops, on OpenSea in mid-January. It is my arbitrary view of some of these location scapes. I met so many incredible, talented, and interesting people from all over the world in the space and looking forward to connect with more. Thank you. This video is so, so, so wonderful. I loved all the photos that she shared with us from not only her NFT journey, but also her career as a photographer. Um, I also thought it was really cool to see the themes of her work revolving around nature, time, and space. Uh, not only just her uh, the work she shoots in her free time, but also her professional work. I thought that was really cool how they kind of uh, coincide with one another. Um, I really enjoyed seeing more of Dolly's award-winning work, um, including the pieces that have been published and where these photographs have been published. I thought that was really cool how she included um, all that information in one. And then, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out some of her NFT work. So here we are on Dolly's OpenSea profile. As you can see, she has one collection titled The Little Orbs. So let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see, this collection does have 11 items with two owners and a floor of 0.2 ETH. Uh, this collection is so, so very cool to me. Uh, the effort and thought that goes into these photos is absolutely incredible. Uh, Dolly says that her fascination with panoramas led her to experiment and find polar panorama, panoramas and that has led to this collection. And I think that's so cool because I'm familiar with panoramas, but I've never heard of polar pan panoramas. And just, these are incredible. Like these are so unique. Um, if I see these, I know Dolly's work because it's just, it's so unique and just so creative. I love it. Um, but she uses these pieces to tell the story of each city, uh, the history, culture, geography, and ecosystem. And I just think that's so cool how she captures all this in one photo and shares basically the essence of an entire city in one photo. Like that is absolutely incredible to me. Um, and I think that she does it so, so well. I mean, seriously, check out the detail in each and every city. It's absolutely breathtaking. Uh, you can almost automatically connect each photo with the city, city that it's supposed to be representing without even looking at the name to know which city you're looking at. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the piece Niagara. This piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy and I absolutely positively love it. Um, she captures the beauty of Niagara Falls in the center of this orb and then showcases the beauty of the city around it. And she just creates this 
incredible piece and uh, I love all the little details in this too. You can see the city, you can see the ripples in the water from the falls. Uh, this entire collection is just absolutely incredible and Dolly's attention to detail is absolutely immaculate. I love this whole collection. I think it's incredible what she's able to capture and how she makes it so recognizable. But let's go ahead and check out the piece that she shared with us that Dolly says if a collector was viewing her um, pieces for the first time, she feels like would really, really represent um, her style of work, and this is it. And when asked why she chose this piece, she says that being an architecture photographer, she's always longed to visit Chicago, a city famous for its bold architecture and striking skyscrapers. And it was much more real than what she had seen in photographs before. She says that this does not punctuate the city skyline, but she saw it had a form of its own that is truly breathtaking. And the best part was the spectacle at night. With Chicago being situated on the banks of Lake Michigan, it's offered mes mesmerizing views of itself at night with the form of skyscrapers enhanced by the play of lights on those buildings. And this is what inspired her to create this orb with the city skyline shot at night. And I think that's beautiful. I've been to Chicago. I know exactly what she's talking about. Um, but she's able to capture it so well in this photo and uh, just hearing it from her and what motivated her to capture this and the details and the lights on the water and it, it's just absolutely incredible Dolly. I love it. I think it does describe your style of work so well because it's so beautiful just like every other piece that you create and you can easily um, tell that this is definitely Chicago. So. I love it. I appreciate you sharing it with us. And, uh, I, yeah, I just love it so much. Um, but Dolly joined the NFT space in December of 2021 and has had a great journey so far. She released her Genesis collection on January 15th of 2022, and she has done such a great job with her collection so far. And I really look forward to seeing Dolly's continued um, progression and success in the space. I know that she's going to do great things because her work is incredible. Dolly is incredible. She's so sweet and she is so um, supportive of the entire community as a whole. And top that with incredible work, there's no way she can't succeed. So thank you, Dolly, so much for sharing this with us and allowing me the opportunity to tell more people about you and your work. But let's go on ahead and talk about the next NFT artist that we are going to be featuring today. And it is Mike Schmidt. Uh, Mike is a multidisciplinary photographer from New York City and has been for 18 years now. Uh, Mike says that he was originally self-taught, but he decided to get an education after his time in the military. And this caused him to attend the School of Visual Arts of New York City, where he received his bachelor's in fine art photography. And this is where he realized his passions for art in all forms, but especially photographing and writing. He also discovered a love for street and documentary photography. Uh, he loves to focus on solitude with his work by separating single subjects within their environments and shooting in low and dimly lit situations. This love and form of work has gained Mike much recognition and awards over the years, including Sony's Emerging Photographer of the Year, publications in the Washington Post, a permanent collection in the New York Historical Society, and much more. So let's go on ahead and hear from Mike himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Mike Schmidt. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mike Schmidt here. Um, I'm a photographer from Brooklyn, New York. I uh, mostly operate in street and documentary work. I uh, recently left my corporate job to go full time in the Web3 space. Uh, I think it's amazing what we have going on right now that we it's basically a, a revolution in uh, individual sovereignty where the uh, people are taking back the power, and I love that. And so, um, Outside of just operating as an artist uh, within the space, uh, I'm a collector, I'm a curator, um, and I'm also an educator. And so uh, as far as educating goes, I, I help international artists. Uh, each week I host a live AMA. I'm up to uh, AMA number 15 now. There are about three hour sessions where I help these international artists to basically uh, assist them in writing uh, artist statements because of language barrier, I teach them how to build relationships within the community, and just teach them how to curate their work down to their best pieces and be more collectible. And so, uh, yeah, that's it, I'm Mike Schmidt. I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, to see where the future brings us um, in the Web3 space, and um, looking forward to uh, connecting with, uh, with all of um, all you guys and uh, all collectors out there and uh, all my friends. 
Wow, I absolutely love this video. This is one of the things I love about being able to create these um, artist spotlights with you guys is because I get to see the side of photographers and learning more about their passions and their art and why they create what they do and why they are so passionate about what they do and I absolutely love that. I loved listening to Mike share his passions about the Web3 space and about his work. It really shines through in not only his pieces, but also just him talking about it. And I think that's absolutely incredible. So let's go on ahead and check out some of Mike's work. Um, so here we are on Mike's OpenSea profile. As you guys can see, Mike currently has seven collections and they're Solitary Days, Faces, The Break, An Italian American Story, Infrascapes, Editions by Mike Schmidt, and An Infrascapes Red. Solitary Days, Faces, The Break, and Infrascapes are all currently sold out with no photos for sale on the secondary. So if you want to become an owner of those collections, you're gonna have to make an offer. So with that, we're actually gonna take a closer look at his other three collections that you can still become an owner to if you'd like. Uh, the first collection we're gonna look at is an Italian American story. This collection has 10 items in it with three owners and a floor of 0.1 ETH. Um, I really love this collection and the personal connection Mike has with it. Uh, he says that this collection reminds him of growing up in South Brooklyn with an Italian family and I absolutely love that. I feel like through these pictures, we can see a small glance into his childhood and what he um, experienced um, growing up. And I think that's really, really cool to have that connection. But we're actually gonna take a closer look at a mother knows number eight. Uh, as you can see in this picture, it's owned by Alpha Trilogy and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I am recently a first time um, mother and I know exactly how she feels just by looking at this photo that Mike captured. Her hand protectingly but lovingly over her stomach. The half smile tells us that she's excited but could also be slightly nervous. Um, and he just captured such a beautiful moment that I feel like so many people to, can connect with. And it was really fun because I was actually talking uh, with Mike about this photo. And he's like, yeah, it's really cool because you can tell that she's excited, she's nervous, but she also has to be kind of tough because she's a mom in South Brooklyn. And I just, I love that. I love the connection and, um, I just love that you're able to not only connect with it yourself and these feelings, but also um, the photographer kind of hearing the backstory, you can connect with him and why he shot these photos. I think that's really cool. Uh, but now we're gonna go take a look at his additions by Mike Schmidt collection. And as you can see, this collection is made up of four items with 31 different owners and a floor price of 0 0.03 ETH. Uh, Mike actually created this collection of four beautiful photos to allow more people the opportunity to own a piece of his work and uh, this work is absolutely incredible and I think that's a really cool thing to do. Uh, but the last collection we're going to look at is Infrascapes Red. This collection is made up of 10 items with six owners and a floor price of 0.15 ETH and is a sequel to his original sold out Infrascapes collection, which he says is an ode to his partner to push him towards a deeper exploration and facing fears to become his best version which is so beautiful, much like this entire collection. Um, I love all the dimensions and details captured in these photos. I mean, the depth that he's able to um, obtain in some of these pieces are abs like it's just absolutely incredible. It's mind blowing to me. Uh, but let's take a closer look at uh, red number three. And this piece is owned by Alpha Trilogy. And I love this piece. I love all the warmth in it. I love the smoke we see surrounding the man in this photo. Uh, my parents actually set out every morning drinking their coffee and just enjoying their surroundings and this man reminds me of them every time I see it. He's just sitting there in his own little bubble enjoying the beauty and peace of the world around us and I just I think that's incredible because that's something that my family does every day. Um, and I love the description Mike gives about the moment but I just really love his ability to capture beautiful moments in time that I feel like so many people can relate to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the work that Mike shared with us that if collectors were viewing his pieces or collections for the first time, he feels like would really showcase his work well, and this is it. And when asked why he chose this piece, he says that he chose it because he feels like it shows and represents his favorite styles of photography, low light, atmospheric, and candid street shots. And I couldn't agree more. I've been to New York City and he captures the liveliness of the city so well in this as well as the people of the streets. And I think it's incredible the mystery that this subject still has around it, but also the authenticity of seeing these people on the streets. He does it so well, and as someone who's visited there, I think that he captures the moment so, so well. So thank you, Mike, so much for sharing it. I feel like 
it really does showcase um, how well you're able to connect with your subjects, but also like share that connection through your photography. Mike first joined the crypto scene in 2016, but he actually didn't get involved with NFTs until September of 2021, and he's had really great success in that time. As we mentioned earlier, he has many sold out collections and he's incredibly active in the NFT space and in the Meta Jungle community. Not only does he host a weekly AMA session in the Meta Jungle Discord, he also provides really valuable feedback for NFT artists and collectors and he collects many pieces himself. This makes sense though because as we heard earlier, Mike has a major passion for the Web3 space and being an educator, artist, and collector in this space as well as this new art evolution and I feel like he shows this every day. So I really wanna thank Dolly and Mike for giving me the opportunity to come on here and learn more about them and share their art and just a little bit more about themselves with all of you guys. And if any of you guys would be interested in being one of our artist spotlights, please reach out to me. It's bossmom99 on Twitter and Discord. I would love to connect with you all. And with that guys, I will bring you some more artists next time and I can't wait. So see you guys then, bye.